What's up everyone? Welcome to yet another episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, Animation Rewind, and if you're new to this series, be sure to check out the newly released Mean Movie Part 1. This Mean Movie Part 1 is over 17 minutes long and has original meme animation that you need to check out. But if you have seen it and you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for tonight's battle. Tonight's battle features Cuphead, and Cuphead is iconically known for taking on video games' hardest bosses. And spoiler alert, yes, he can take on the bosses of his universe, but tonight we ask the question, can he beat the iconic bosses of the other video game worlds? Games from Undertale, Metroid, Donkey Kong, Mario, and more. We have bosses such as Undyne, Sans, Ridley, King K. Rule, Pete, Donkey Kong, Dr. Robotnik, and Bowser. A lot of these bosses and Cuphead have been featured in previous Cartoon Flight Club episodes, so the pre-analysis is, will featured condensed reviews that way we can save the most time so with all this in mind let's introduce cartoon fight clubs next round of fighters it's time we meet the video game bosses starting with undyne undyne is an aquatic monster that leads the royal guard she's extremely skilled with her spear she can use it to change her opponent's soul mode and can throw multiple spear patterns to deal great damage Undyne's armor protects her from many attacks, but without it her scaly skin is easier to pierce through. Undyne is a very passionate warrior, however sometimes on rare occasions she acts before thinking and puts the lives of others before her, making her a target of sacrifice. Sticking with the Undertale universe, we have Sans the Skeleton. Sans the Skeleton is one of the most infamous bosses in the whole entire Undertale game, thanks to his bad puns, carefree attitude, and lazy workflow. Sans has the ability to tell blast deadly gaster blasts, telekinetically grab his opponent's souls, and can throw damaging bones at his foes. His only weakness is his 1 HP health, however if he's hit, he does have determination to survive a little longer before the hit kills him. Ridley is one of the most feared space pirates in the cosmos. He cruelly travels the galaxy as a designated military leader for the space pirates fleet. Like pirates of the sea, space pirates raid ships, colonies, and even planets. Ridley being one of the most powerful can easily give Samus a run for her money, as he is fast enough to keep up with her FTL spaceship, powerful enough to fire blasts that can easily destroy metal, and durable enough to survive explosive missile firepower. King K. Rool is the king of the Kremlin race. His main goal is to steal Donkey Kong's banana horn. He is caught in dozens of battles with Donkey Kong Jr. He can use his crown like a boomerang, is a master at ground pounding, and is the strongest Kremlin known to date. We can't have a Cuphead boss battle without some old school bullies. Bring in Peg Leg Pete. Pete and Mickey Mouse have always been rivals throughout time. Pete's shenanigans usually include troublemaking and corruption. Thanks to his Toon Force, Pete is extremely durable and unpredictable. He can easily use his big size and brute strength to cause quite a storm. This isn't the Expand Dong Donkey Kong Jr., but the OG DK from the classic arcade game. Many speculate now as Cranky Kong, Donkey Kong and Jumpman never got along, mainly because Donkey Kong hates the zoo and Jumpman wants Pauline back from DK Sr. This ape is very skilled at throwing barrels and strong enough to bend metal beams just by stomping on them. Dr. Ivo Robotnik is the main antagonist of the Sonic the Hedgehog series. With his IQ of 300, the doctor is iconically known for his egg-themed inventions and weaponry. He's invented the Egg Mobile, Hammer Bowl, Drill Eggman Bot, Water Eggman Bot, Flying Eggman Bot, and his most brutal, the Death Egg Robot. The Death Egg Robot has both the strength and power to stick toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sonic the Hedgehog. He's big, he's bad, and king of Koopas. Bowser is a formidable warrior within the Mushroom Kingdom. This Koopa has the firepower to burn down entire castles, the strength to easily surpass Mario's, and over the course of 30 plus years, he has developed a wide skill set of abilities and tactics. His signature attack is his fire breath. He can breathe fast pellets, charged up cannon-like blasts, and his classic stream of fire. At Bowser's core, his bones are completely immune to fire, which is why his dry Bowser skeleton form can deflect all of Mario's fire pellets and can swim in lava as if it was water. Overall, these bosses are extremely different and have their own unique varieties to offer to this table. They all have plenty of experience taking on the main player and they're ready to face Cuphead. Oh no. Cuphead is very much a glass cannon or I guess you can say a glass cup depending on who you ask. 
Now, I only mean this expressionally in the sense that offensively, he is very powerful and can inflict tons of damage towards his targets. But defensively, he is very easily broken and susceptible to damage. Before we discuss his weak defense, let's talk about his offensive set. Cuphead is very agile and fast. He can easily dodge fireballs, and for fireballs to stay airborne without burning out, they would have to at least be traveling 400 miles per hour. Now, this is lowballing. If they travel closer to that of 36 inch fireworks, shells, they can reach speeds near to 763 miles per hour, which is roughly the speed of sound. Cuphead also has great range, being able to jump high heights, and even from more distance, he has a gliding ability. But enough of mobility. Cuphead is most iconically known for his shooting. His finger gun is every child's greatest handgun, and Cuphead is no different. From his base pea shooter, spread, lobber, chaser, charge, roundabout, axe parry, and plane slash super bombs. A lot of these are pretty self-explanatory. The pea shooter is a basic spit shot, the charge is a charge up shot, the spread is a triple shot attack, and so on and so forth. The heavier shots are slower but they do more damage, the lighter shots are faster but less explosive. On the defensive end, Cuphead has a huge disadvantage. Only three in-game hits can put the poor guy down. It's tough to say how hard each hit needs to be without game mechanics, but since the weaker ones can still be just as efficient on the guy, it's hard to assume that he's some type of indestructible force. Overall, Cuphead is a brave glass cannon of a cup. He's offensively gifted with many range attacks, but severely lacks a defensive arsenal and defensive game plan. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place throughout the video game multiverse as Cuphead will be facing each boss as if he was playing that game. There will be no preparation and this is not a team fight. It's not an aid on one, it's Cuphead going to each game boss and seeing if he could defeat them. With all this in mind, let the battle begin!
Motherfucker. <laughs> and the winner is the video game bosses. Special thanks to these animators Omega7321, Droop the Hedgehog, and X125, Ozo Animations, and of course, I pitched in on a few scenes. Don't forget to check out the meme movie. It does deserve more attention. It has 17 minutes of original animation, and that's just the part one, but you need to go check it out if you haven't seen it yet, and if you have seen it, watch it again or share it. Thanks, and now for the post-analysis. <laughs> So yeah, our winner is the video game bosses, and the animation wasn't a simulation. If it was, it probably would have ended quicker. Sorry to trigger you, but these guys are just powerful. There is a reason why Cuphead is considered the Dark Souls of the indie collection. Cuphead's lack of durability is going to get him pummeled in a battle against the likes of every other boss that was on this list. And I could go over all categories, but this is so much of a stomp, let's just do the major two. Speed and durability. Sonic! He's the fastest thing alive. Cuphead can dodge fireballs that would at least be traveling 400 miles per hour. Now this would be lowballing if they travel closer to that of 36 inch firework shells, they can reach speeds near 763 miles per hour, which is roughly the speed of sound. That takes us to the level of Undyne slash Sands through lowballing. They are both at least Mach 1. Sands can scale to his Gaster Blasts, and Undyne is on par with Kara slash Frisk during combat. Moving on to one of the fastest on the whole team is Ridley. Ridley is considered to be massively faster than light, as he can fly so fast that he can keep up with Samus's ship, which can cross galaxies in short time frames. King K. Rool is also pretty fast considering how big of a guy he is, he's considered to be near hypersonic speeds as he can scale to Donkey Kong Jr. who is fast enough to punch so fast that his fists turn on fire. Another insanely fast boss is Pegleg Pete who is on par with Mickey Mouse, the same Mickey Mouse who has traveled from Jupiter to Earth within minutes. Dr. Robotnik, he's known for facing one of the fastest video game characters in history. He has massively hypersonic machinery that can easily keep up with the likes of classic Sonic the Hedgehog in both base and super form. Donkey Kong Sr. claims to be very similar to Donkey Kong Jr. when he was young, which would easily make him on par with DK, which would put him at hypersonic at least. And of course, Bowser is considered to be faster than light, as he was fast enough to outswim black holes. You got the touch! You got the power! Durability is not Cuphead's gig. We know that three hits can kill him, though that is a game mechanic. We have seen him survive the blast of fireballs, which, if we add all three, could be at least small building level, but I don't want to go any higher because then that would just get out of reach. Sans, of course, only does have that one HP, but back at the speed category, it's going to be tough to catch him anyway, so yes, he can die, but Cuphead's going to have to get lucky on that one. Ridley, at the very least, is planet level. Remember, he did survive multiple tags from Faison Suit Samus, which is one of the most powerful Samus suits in her arsenal. Pegleg Pete with his Toon Force can easily be considered universal as he is on par with Mickey Mouse, who survived punches so hard that they ripped through actual animation frames. Dr. Robotnik with his best machinery can easily be considered planet level as his mechs can survive multiple attacks from Supersonic. Donkey Kong Sr., as he said in his heyday, is on par with DK Jr. in his prime, which would put him at least 
planet level, considering he survived the blast that launched him into space and up to the moon. And Bowser, of course, has that solar system plus durability as he did survive swimming inside a black hole. If the unbelievable speed and durability gaps aren't enough to paint the picture of how much of a stomp this fight is, then I don't really know what to tell you. Cuphead is a great indie game, but if he had to fight the bosses of these other games, he would quite simply be nothing more than a quick refreshment for these bosses, making the winner of this battle the video game bosses. But what happens if we reverse the role? Instead of a Cuphead versus video game bosses, let's have a gloves are off free for all, where Cuphead could face all the other iconic glove wearing video game heroes featuring Mickey Mouse, Mario, Sonic, and more. If you do want to see a battle like that happen, all you gotta do is slap that like button. If this video gets 20,000 likes, such a free for all would exist. Also, don't forget to comment down your own ideas and don't forget to check out the meme movie part one. That part one definitely deserves more attention. And of course, a lot of you are wondering what's up with Raiden versus Genji. This one is coming soon. There's a lot of behind the scenes things going on. Of course, I got Rewind Rumble that I'm trying to pump out. There's just so much going on right now. I don't want to rush anything and that is coming soon and it should be next, but there might be some bonus episodes interrupting it. It is planned and it's not going anywhere. Just stay patient and I hope you enjoy it. On the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. Do it then. Kill me. No. I will not grant you the death you wish for. You still have a purpose in this life, brother. I am lightning.